Hi, my name is Matthias and I'm from Flowhow. In this video I want to show you how to set up a, an analysis for PU Foamy. Um, I made a new run, or you can make a new project, but um, uh, then I changed this one for chemical foaming. And um, you can build your own uh, model and mesh and so on, but I have uh, prepared a mesh. So uh, I use a mesh already prepared, and this is, uh, mesh has a mold base and some cooling channels here. So um, what I d do then is uh, I take a material. <coughs> if I double click here, it opens this material. And you can go here and material wizard. I have a I have already used a PU, and you can get your material from the database. Not many are available, but uh, <coughs> it's uh, possible to measure them uh, on Moldex 3D Lab. Uh, so uh, I use this one and go back to the model uh, project tree. So. Um, now I have the process. Uh, I double click here. <coughs> and the first page, I don't change anything. Uh, the second is the filling. And uh, here I have a filling time, I give it uh, eight seconds. And <coughs> I can give it a profile filling, but I don't want that. So I take this one on to have a constant volume flow. It doesn't matter if it's 40% or 100%, it's just a relative uh, um, weighting of the flow rate during the filling. So if it's constant, it doesn't matter if it's 40 or 100%. So uh, no, nothing in the pack, in the, um, in, in the packing. And uh, now I have the melt temperature here you have to adjust that if you have some specific needs for, for or specific uh, values for that and the mold temperature this one is uh, if i use um cooling uh, analysis before the filling this one is not really used but if i don't have a mold base and a cooling this uh, temperature here is the cavity surface temperature. So <clears throat> these are the settings here. Then it's uh, the uh, filling. Uh, how much material do you want to fill into the part? You can give it in that shot weight, which is uh, quite normal. And there is some um, advice over here between 20 and 70 percentage doesn't matter if you go out from this. I could take 80, for example. Um, and then uh, it's a uh, PU foaming. I go to advanced setting. In the advanced setting, you can uh, decide uh, how the foaming or for how long time the foaming and curing are calculated. I normally just take the top one saying foaming duration time to end of cooling. That would say that the cooling time is defining when the uh, final uh, uh, simulation or calculation are stopping uh, are stopped. So then there are rotation settings. If you want to uh, rotate your uh, part during the filling and you have can control the angular speed here for example you could say okay we rotate it this way in that speed and the other way and then con keep it a uh, constant but uh, play with it um, and it will be taken into account to the simulation then there's the cooling step or cooling settings I'll go for transient cooling here and the initial temperature is the temperature of the mold when you start out. And normally it's uh, 
uh, around 25 degrees, but you can also go for the mold temperature. But I normally just take the room temperature and air temperature. Um, then there's the cooling time. That's the time when the simulations are, is going on. So if you want to have the mold closed for 400 seconds and have the, all the foaming inside there, use 400. I would do that in this case. Mold opening time, 20. <clears throat> and then you have the cooling channel here. You can, the, the, the cooling channel, the coolant water here is at the end defining the uh, temperature distribution in the mold. So I give it in 50 degrees and don't change up the, um, the volume flow. And I take this 50 and uh, copy to the rest by this bottom. And the mold metal, in this case I use uh, aluminium, could be this one. And summary, save. And it asks if you want to override. I don't know if uh, I normally doesn't override. I just give it a new name like that. Ah. Like that. But yeah, close. <clears throat> and now we want uh, to define which sequence of analysis. I double clicked here. And I have then, I use this transient analysis where I have the transient cooling analysis where it calculates the temperature distribution in the mold first. And afterwards, uh, fill in the material, have the foaming going on, and again, have a cooling, which are taken into account the heat from the filling, um, and at the end, warpage. Um, and then the computation is the last thing to put in. I want um, I want uh, gravity because gravity is uh, quite important in uh, um, low viscosity uh, materials like PU. So um, I take minus nine, which will say that the, the gravity is a minus set. And then I go here to the fill pack it's actually full foaming. So in the first eight seconds, I have uh, intermediate results, uh, 10 pieces of those. And uh, for the rest 400 seconds, I take uh, maybe 49, yeah, uh, intermediate steps. So it I can read the results uh, 49 times. Um, this one I don't. This one I don't need. <clears throat> and under advanced, I have uh, foaming here. Calculate cell size and density. I go to CO2, which is the uh, normal for PU foam. And um, there's a lot of uh, properties down here. These are the default best to choose. But if you have better from values on these from uh, the lab, uh, uh, some lab or some other place, please correct those. And in the cooling, yeah, just to use the setup as normal to calculate this. You can say the cooling here, um, yeah, looks okay. So that's actually it. And then it's just uh, to start the analysis. Here and submit. Okay, thank you. Bye bye.